Alright, hey everybody. Uh, I'm here in Caledon Forest to announce the November Jumping Puzzle Contest. Uh, this is going to take place in the Spelunker's Delve. A little late on the wave there, Gina Goth. Um, there we go. This is uh, in a starting area, which is one of the suggestions that was made to me by members the last time we had a jumping contest was that we had it in kind of a high level area I think it was Timberline Falls uh, so people who wanted to use the jumping puzzle with a lower level character couldn't access it uh, although we would have gladly escorted people if uh, there would have been a need uh, so this time we're gonna be in Caledon uh, we're just east of the entrance to the Grove so this is of course the Silvari starting area for those unfamiliar it is level 1 to 15 and to get to the jumping puzzle, what you're going to want to do is either go to Astoria Waypoint and then go east from there, or you're going to go to Sleeves Waypoint and go south. And right in this area where I'm standing, there is a hole in the ground. And there's a bunch of trolls around here, and it's hidden by some bushes, but you'll be able to find it pretty easily. Um, and you'll fall down this hole, and then there is a jumping puzzle inside there. It's pretty basic, pretty easy, straightforward jumping puzzle. Um, Going to require a little bit of accuracy, uh, but I recorded a video for this earlier, and some of you may have seen it, and this is a replacement for it. We'll take two, so to speak. Uh, but I had incorrectly stated the signets, uh, as far as modifying speed, didn't show up, and there was no way to monitor whether somebody was using a signet to buff their speed. And that, that was incorrect. I was told wrong by somebody. Um, I did check on Duchess and her signet of the hunt does show up whenever she's in a party. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to go back to the rule of no speed buffs. Um, and if anybody is using a speed buff, they will be disqualified from the run. Um, Ronchi is the current champion of the jumping puzzle contest. We held one two months ago in Griffin Rook, and he took the title. So, he will be putting his title up for grabs in this contest. The winner will get the champion title, uh, will get a title on the website and the forums. Anytime you post, people will be able to see that you're the current Jumping Puzzle champion. Um, and you will also get to win a prize out of either the Marketplace or the Deep Cave. Uh, and it's anything your choice in there. Uh, the time that we're going to have the Jumping Puzzle this time is going to be November 24th. That is a Sunday. I believe that's a week from this coming Sunday. Uh, it will be at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, 6 p.m. Server Time, um, which is also Pacific Time. So that gives everybody about a week and a half to get the uh, Nightmare Within patch under their belts. Um, it is the Sunday right before the new patch comes out, so there won't be a whole heck of a lot going on. Um, but it also gives you a week and a half to get into this jumping puzzle and really give it a, give it a try. Uh, I will be posting a video by Ian who does great jumping puzzle walkthroughs um, and she will give you a quick walkthrough of how to actually do the jumping puzzle in case you're a little confused on what path to take or how to go through it so everybody will be on equal ground everybody has an opportunity to be able to look at this video and see exactly how to go through this jumping puzzle um, hopefully I'll see everybody at November 24th coming and competing for Ronchi's title hopefully Ronchi will be able to compete and uh, actually defend that title maybe he'll retain it uh, maybe he'll be our first back-to-back -back champion uh, we'll see but hopefully I'll see everybody out on the 24th, and until uh, next time, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.